this video we will find transfer function and block diagram of field control DC motor in my previous lecture I find transfer function and block diagram of armature control DC motor so you can see this is the basic circuit diagram of field control DC motor here armature current is constant so in my first step a constant current IA is feed to the armature now in this case that flux is proportional to the field current as that armature portion is constant so mathematically we can write phi proportional to if now we replace that proportional by using one constant that phi equal to kf into if so i give that equation number one now we apply that kvl equation in this circuit so by using kvl equation we can write that vf equal to rf if plus lf and dif by dt so i mark as 2 after that there will some torque produced so that torque is directly proportional to the flux and armature current so t is proportional to the phi into i a so now we replace this proportional by one constant the t equal to k dot phi into i a we already find that phi so i replace that phi by kf and if so k dash kf if into ia so we know that ia is constant so ia and k dot we replaced one constant that k so finally we get k kf and if so t equal to k kf if i given that equation number three and where k is k dot into i a now now we use dynamic equation of torque in term of j and b where j is the equivalent moment of inertia of motor and b is the equivalent coefficient of friction of motor so we write that dynamic equation that is t equal to j into d2 theta by dt2 and b is d theta by dt where theta is the angular displacement and i already told that j is the moment of inertia and p is the coefficient of friction so this is four equation now we apply laplace transform all these four equation so finally we apply laplace transform sign and we get so from first equation we get that phi s equal to kf into ifs so this equation not required so you can 
apply this Laplace transform or not. So now apply for the second equation. So VFS equal to RF IFS plus S into LF into IFS. So we can rearrange this equation. I take IF as common. So RF plus S LF. So from here we can find that IFS equal to VFS divided by SLF plus RF. Give that equation is equal number one. Now we apply Laplace transform in torque equation. So TS equal to KKF IFS. Give that equation number two. Now we apply Laplace transform to this dynamic equation of torque. So we get TS equal to J theta S sorry J S square this is that double derivative so that's why S square theta S plus B into S theta S so if you don't know that the Laplace transform of differential equation so I write that if F T is in time domain and if its Laplace transform is Fs then we can write d to the power n for the, this is the general case d to the power n this will be h to the power n and Fs okay this is for only valid for bilateral Laplace transform and this is the Laplace transform of differential equation it is for unilateral case so I get that three equation so if I take common that theta s so that will be j a square plus s b so we get three equations after applying Laplace transform now we rearrange that equation and Finally, we have to find that theta s by vfs. So this is the transfer function of field control DC motor. Now we put that if value in equation two. So put if in equation two. So we get ts equal to kkf into vf divided by rf plus s into lf now we put equation number three in equation number four because we already know ts equal to theta s into j square plus sp so we put that equation so that will be theta s into j square plus s b equal to k k f into v f s divided by r f plus s l f now we can write that theta s by v f s and k k f divided by if we common take common s h that will be s j plus b into r f plus s l f so this is our final transfer function of field control dc motor so this equation can also write written as in this form so we can write that k k f divided by if we take common from here rf and here we take common b then it will be 
1 plus s into j by b and from here we take common rf so that will be s into lf by rf now we can write further that k a k f r f p s into 1 plus s tau m into 1 plus s into tau f where tau m equal to j by b is the mechanical time constant and tau f is lf by rf is the time constant for field circuit. Thank you for your attention. If you have any query, please comment on below video section and thank you.